Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So as you can see, I'm not in my typical location. I'm currently in my living room kneeling in front of my TV because I need it for this week's video. So something I just want to say really quickly, what I'm about to show you will only work if your phone is both OTG and MHL compatible. So pause this video, look up, is your phone OTG compatible? If yes, then type is your phone MHL compatible? If yes, then come back to this video because if the answer isn't yes to both of those questions, then this isn't gonna work. So in this week's video, I'm gonna show you how to get your photos, files, documents, off of your phone that might have a broken screen because maybe your phone screen is black or maybe it doesn't respond to touch anymore and you want to get your files off but when you plug it into your computer your phone's files don't show up so i'm going to show you how to get your files off of the phone and onto a usb stick or an external hard drive without using a computer. So what you're gonna need is your broken phone, this USB-C hub, which has an HDMI port as well as two USB ports. And I know that some phones still use micro USB, so I do have a solution for you which I'll talk about in a second. You're gonna need a computer mouse. And no, we're not using a computer, but we are gonna need the mouse. And then you're gonna need an HDMI cord that is plugged into your TV. So for those of you who have a micro USB phone, you're gonna need a little adapter like this, and it will convert USB-C to micro USB. So you'll just be able to attach it to the end like so, and now it'll be compatible with your phone. And all the materials I just listed, I will have links in the description. So now that you have all your materials, this is what you're gonna do. First, you need to turn on your TV, and it says no signal because I don't have anything plugged in right now. Then you're gonna take your phone and you're going to take your USB hub and you're going to plug it in the bottom, like so. Then you're gonna take your HDMI cord that's plugged into your TV and you're gonna plug it into the hub. So now my phone is showing up on the TV. So now we can see what's happening on our phone, which we probably couldn't before because our phone screen is broken. Then if your phone isn't responding to touch, you're gonna need some way to control it. So you're gonna take your USB mouse and you're gonna plug it into the hub. Now you can see that there is the mouse cursor so I can control the phone. So if I click on the mouse and drag, it'll unlock the phone. So now we can see our phone and control our phone, but now we wanna get the files off and we wanna put the files onto here. So we're going to plug this into the hub. So now everything is connected. So now the place we wanna to get to in our phone is my files. So using the mouse, we're just going to scroll up and then in this phone, it's in the Samsung folder, and right here, you see the My Files application. So we're gonna click that. So now we're in My Files, and if we scroll down, you can see my different storage options. I have my internal storage SD card, and then this one called USB Storage 1, where the storage is 4.55 terabytes. And that is my external hard drive that I just plugged in. So I wanna move my files over here. So let's say I wanted to move a picture, for example. I would click images, and let's say I wanted a screenshot, I'd go to screenshots, and if I want this one, then I click and hold on the mouse, and as you can see, this one becomes selected. Then at the bottom, I click move. Then, as you can see, this one item is highlighted. Then if I go back, and I go back again, then I'm choosing where I wanna move it to. So I'll choose my USB storage one, and then I'll click move here. And now, as you can see right here, 
I have the screenshot. So then if I go back to the phone storage, now you can see that screenshot is no longer on the phone and it is on my external drive. And obviously you wouldn't want to do that one by one. So if we're here, if I click and hold on this screenshot at the top, I can click this circle and select all. So now I have all 266 screenshots selected and I would go through the same process, click move, and then move them over to my external hard drive. So yeah, it's as simple as that. You don't need a computer in order to get your photos, files, videos off of your old phone. As long as your phone is OTG compatible in order to be able to connect an external drive as well as the USB mouse and then MHL compatible so that it can be mirrored through HDMI, as long as your phone has those two capabilities, you can get everything off of your phone without having to connect it to your computer. So that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you wanna follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. And be sure to check out one of these suggested videos. And I'll see you next Monday with a new video.